threading, multiprocessing, and async I.O. are three Python modules for executing code in parallel. To understand the difference between them, let's first understand the difference between a process, a thread, and a coroutine. A program is an executable file stored in disk. When we run the program, it is loaded into RAM and executed by the processor. On a high level, we can think of a process as the context of execution of the program. It includes the code, the data, and the resources that a program needs to run. Now, if we think of a process as a context, then threads are like subcontexts within that context. Some of the process resources will be shared between the threads and some resources will be specific to each thread. Our program code can be run in one thread or it can be split between different threads or even different processes. From this, we can see that processes are more isolated from one another. Meaning, if one process goes down, it doesn't affect the other processes. However, this isolation also means it's more difficult to switch from one process to another. On the other hand, threads are less isolated within the same process. So if one thread encounters an issue, it's likely to affect other threads within the same process. But this lessened isolation makes it easier to switch between threads. Therefore, the choice between processes and threads depends on the specific use case and the requirements of the application. Now, what are coroutines? They are essentially functions that can be suspended and resumed at certain points during execution. Consider a scenario where a function needs to perform calculations, wait for user inputs, and then proceed with another task. If we define this function as a normal function, it would execute sequentially, blocking at each execution stage until completion. However, if we define it as a coroutine, we can suspend its execution at the point of waiting for input without blocking the entire program. Now, how do we relate this to our Python modules? Imagine you have a program with two functions. The threading module in Python will allow you to run these functions concurrently within different threads. The multiprocessing module will allow you to run them in separate processes. Each process has its own Python interpreter and memory space. The async IO module, on the other hand, will allow you to define these functions as coroutines with the syntax async def and run them asynchronously. Now let's do a quick demo to see how we can use these modules. Let's start with the multiprocessing module. Remember we said multiprocessing allows you to run Python code in different processes each process with its own Python interpreter and memory space. First, let's define two functions. For e in range 5, print function 1 is running. And then let's add some time.sleep for one second. Then let's define another function. It will be exactly like the first one. We'll just change the print to function two is running. Then let's start by running these two functions sequentially. So we will just call function one, call function two, and let's add start time so that we can measure how much time it takes to run the functions. As we can see, they are running sequentially, function 1, function 1 4 times, then function 2 4 times. 
a little bit more than 10 seconds. Now let's move on to multiprocessing. First, we need to import multiprocessing module. It is part of the Python standard library, so we don't need to install anything. Then we need to create a process object with a target function. We will create process1 for function1 and process2 with function2 as target. So the syntax is really easy. We use the process class of the multiprocessing package. Then we need to start our processes with process1.start, which will start the process and run the target function, function1 then process2.start then we need to do process.join so why do we do this? we do this to tell the main function to wait for the processes to finish before executing the next line which is printing the time taken if we don't do this it will just print the time taken and it will exit and the processes will uh, run in the background we don't want them to run in the background, we want to wait for the processes to finish before printing the time, so we'll, we need to do a process.join. So as we can see, our two functions are indeed running in parallel. We have function 1 is running, then 2, then 1, then 2, etc. So they are running in parallel. and the time taken is 5.11 seconds so it is almost half the time that we had with the sequential uh, processing it's a little bit more than half because starting two processes takes more time than only starting one process for each process we need to start a new python interpreter initialize and establish the connection between our processes so there is some additional time related to starting multiple processes but overall we can see that the time is almost half that is because we are running our functions in parallel now let's move on to multi-threading first let's import the threading module then, in terms of syntax, it's really similar to multiprocessing. Just instead of process, we will call it thread. Instead of multiprocessing, it's threading. Instead of the process class, it's the thread class, which also takes a target function. And similarly, we need to start and join our threads. Remember, we say that threading allows you to run different functions in uh, different threads within the same process it is important to know that in python two threads of the same process cannot be active at the same time which means that our two functions are not running simultaneously it's only when one function is sleeping that the other function is running that's why in the output we see function one then two then two, then one, so it's not exactly at the same time, it's not the same, it's not alternating between one and two as we saw with multiprocessing. And as we can see, time taken is 5.00 seconds, which is even less than in the multiprocessing case. That is because now we are taking advantage of the sleeping time of one function to run the other function and also we are only starting one process which takes less time than starting two processes. Now let's move on to async IO. First we import the async IO module. As we discussed earlier, async IO allows us to run functions as coroutines. A coroutine is essentially a function that can be suspended and resumed at any point during execution. To denote a function as a coroutine, we use the keyword async. To suspend a coroutine at a specific point of execution, we use the await keyword. For instance, here in our code, we can use await with the sleep function. This ensures that function 1 doesn't block for the duration of its sleep time. It can continue executing other tasks. 
as we are using a weight, the sleep function itself must be a coroutine as well. Therefore, we replace time.sleep with async.io.sleep. We will do the same thing for function two as well. Now, to execute our functions as coroutines, we define the main function using the async keyword. We then use await and gather to collect and await the completion of the coroutines. Lastly, we call our main function using async.io.run. And here we will include the time measurement as well so that we can compare with the other methods. Now let's run our code and see. As we can see, our functions are running concurrently. That is because whenever one of the functions is sleeping, it is suspended and the other function is resumed. This allows us to take advantage of the sleeping time to execute the other function. And as we can see, the time taken is 5 seconds, which is half of what it would take if we run the function sequentially. Now let's recap. Multiprocessing, threading, and async IO are three Python modules that facilitate parallelism or asynchronous execution of code. Multiprocessing achieves parallelism by running tasks in separate processes. Threading uses different threads, and async IO uses coroutines, which are functions that can be suspended and resumed. We also covered the distinction between parallelism and concurrency. Parallelism means running multiple tasks simultaneously, while concurrency means making progress on different tasks concurrently by switching between them. This is particularly useful when tasks are waiting for input or performing IO operations, such as making HTTP requests. To utilize these modules, we create process objects with target functions for multiprocessing, we create threads with target functions for threading, and coroutines using the async and await keywords for async IO. In terms of usage, multiprocessing is ideal for CPU-bound tasks which means tasks that primarily utilize the processor for calculations. Threading and async IO, on the other hand, are best suited for IO-bound tasks, which means tasks that spend a significant portion of their time waiting for IO operations like user input, disk IO, or network requests. Understanding the differences and appropriate use cases for these modules will enable you to effectively leverage parallelism and concurrency in your Python applications.